Here are the materials, 22 and 30 gauge wires, a cutting plier, flat blade and exacto knife, a color palette and a brush, acrylic paints, a ball, dotting and a pointy tool, yellow, orange, white, black and magenta clay. I highly recommend you guys to use Primo or Fimo brands of polymer clay because they are firmer that will hold better details. We are starting with the head. Roll out a ball of the yellow clay and flatten it a little bit first, then cut one round end straight. Make a deep indentation for the eye socket so that you can just drop the white clay into them. Indent the areas for the beak. Make a L shape for the lower jaw and place a small rectangle of the black clay on top of it. Then make a triangle for the bottom beak. Indent the spots for the teeth inside the mouth for easier placement and there are two rows of teeth inside the mouth for both bottom and the top. Roll out a small coil of the white clay and flatten it first, then cut small segments that will be the teeth. Place each one inside the mouth. This can take a while, so take your time. Is the rest of the body which is the same process as all the other animatronics that I have made so far.
I'm inserting a 22 gauge wire through the shoulder blade to hold up the arms. Cut out several 30 gauge wires and grab several at a time. Bend them any way you want and then insert those wires onto the wrist or the end of the arm. Secure those wires by placing a small piece of clay to seal up the gaps. This will prevent the wires from falling off. Slice some clay away and place a small piece of black clay for the torn look. Here I have made a mistake for using black clay for the nails, for the toenails. You can use the white clay.
I'm adding a small piece of yellow clay on the back of the head because it is too flat to be attached to the body. Bake this in the oven according to package instructions. So right here, this is baked. Now it's time to pin the text on the bib. While waiting for the pin to dry, let's add some watery black paint to make this chica look worn out. So this is pretty much done. I have attached the feet to a painted triple for it to stand. I hope this is helpful and make sure to check out previous Five Nights Freddy's and I'm trying to tutorials on the right. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram and Etsy for more work. Subscribe for more videos and to support me. If you have any ideas or requests for future videos, leave them in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and keep crafting. Bye!